How's it going everybody? Adam here. Welcome back to Pokemon Freedom. This episode we're starting off with two short time lapses. One of our makeshift house out of rocks. Ooh, looks like a rock. And going on to a sort of path or just item object that can be placed in the round mountain ranges sort of thing. Yeah, just sort of... Yeah, ah, rocks on a path. Anyway, I, as you'll see later on, I didn't really, I suppose, record the actual rocks that I made as well. It's only because I wasn't sure what I was doing. I just wanted to get that done. So, apologies for that. But, after these two short time lapses, we're going to jump into Unity, and I will be showing you guys some of the progress that I have made. So, enjoy.
Alright guys, here we are. So, this is all the finished products that I have. This house here is the one that you guys saw me create. So from that, I made a slightly larger one. And two that sort of offset the front door. And then, eventually this one, you know, expanding at the back just a bit. And then, I flipped it. And then over here we have our rocks. So the, the purpose of showing you the other rocks that I made, which is, well, I'm missing a couple of things from here. It's essentially these. It's just the sort of the process I made to use these really. So I started with this one, I made that one, went on to this sort of spiky one, then sort of changed that bit to have the this little bit come out of the side and then a little double small rock that you could probably stand on I suppose but here's a little path so you could potentially make different sets of these and you can just duplicate these and if it would duplicate it's control D in this one isn't it yep <laughs> they're different on each things but yeah you could just do that you could use that as a path or just touch up paths. I will undo that. A couple other ones that I made was this sort of signpost rock thingamajiggy. <laughs> it's facing the wrong way. Just turn that around. Yep, so this would be the part you could see this, some form of sign on or something like that. Not too sure. But anyway. Just sort of decide making things. I think that's probably the only one that's here. So if we just, before I jump in, you can see I've also sort of started layout of the map. Yeah, this somewhat looks familiar, despite the water not being over here as well. Uh, this is going to be Panario. So if we just go back in here. This is sort of the rough outline I had for it. So we need the water down here. I have made this a lot bigger than here, but we shall see if I decide to change that or what. Well, I was just kind of doing it freehand, so I'll just close that. But yeah, I was just doing this freehand, so trying to get at least the size of the town right. So at the moment, this seal is pretty good, and one thing is to keep my little things that have no purpose at the moment. One thing I just want to point out, because of the way this works, of me aligning myself to the ground, I can um, walk uh, horizontal, <laughs> just stand there. Although it doesn't work trying to go up, because you need this, you know, surface of going against, but it does, worked out, find out, found out, it doesn't work on horizontal walls, you just fall straight down. So that's an easy fix. I was going to do it with you guys, and then I was like, hang on, this is going to be one of those things that ends up being annoyingly done on camera. So I just did that off camera and disabled it. But essentially, it's just this. We just need to get our angle from our current direction up to our vector, th just the normal up. And if that's greater than 40, we'll just stop our Richard body's velocity and set our velocity just to fall downwards. So with that, I will show you what that does down here because it's easier to do it down here. If I can just get to the edge so I'm not pushing anything or oh, I'd be facing the wrong way. But yeah, it doesn't matter too much going downhill apparently. Didn't test that, but I can't run uphill. But I can, oh, I can jump it, right? Oh, I think if I walk down this way and turn around. No, oh, okay, I don't. There we go, you will slide down. It's a little buggy at the moment, especially if you sort of run along the edge, because you can't run up. I can run sideways and then it'll kind of flip out a little bit. But that's my little temporary solution for that. Anyway. So these houses, 
see I got Blender open down here. You have a little bit of issue with them just being square or quad faces. So we're going to fix that, make these triangles. And the quickest way to do that is in Blender, selecting your entire mesh and doing Control T. And that triangulates the faces. So we get a little more rough looking rocks, I suppose. But you can see the difference that that makes. So just with this one, I'm going to export it back into scenery. Make sure I have my Blender to Unity preset on. If you don't know what that is, I would suggest uh, it's essentially just defaulting that to X, X is forward, Z is up, as well as a couple of other things that actually aren't permanently set, but it's fine for this one. And house one, should export that back out. And you will now see, see that actually looks a lot better in Unity itself. And now we don't get any of these sort of weird shapes on here. But so I'm not sure if I want to keep that black like that. Initially, I was just going to keep. I could have made these a bigger, made the actual houses go in a ball, I suppose. But I think it'd be better if I somehow transition these into different, different scenes or something like that. But anyway, that's that. Um, not too much else to show. Um, see, that looks cool. Need more variety in them and stuff like that. But yeah, but you can actually jump on the. Oh, can't stay on the rock because the rock's not part of the ground. That would be that's. Is that that's not why that. Oh, it's this. Why I'm confused? Why that's tagged? Oh. Because it was originally part of this thing over here. I just changed, lost my mouse. Just changed the map to the whole giant circle box thing that I had before. Still that. So, yeah. That could be interesting if I just make that ground. Just out of curiosity. Worst guy, I think I'm going to end up rotating all over the place. Potentially, although these do have a have a um, a cube on them, so maybe not. No, nope, I'm gonna get stuck. Okay, that's something for me to work out later. But one thing I forgot to say earlier was I know I said this wasn't gonna be constant updates, but this is fairly quick update actually. One thing I did forget that I started to work on was a little pause menu or just in-game menu so we can just resume quit which won't do anything unless it's actually running as an application but I decided to start working on the bag okay that's yeah that button's not supposed to be there but that's fine so you just go back and forth and that's a set that's just using I don't have it open do 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 did all this before and then pay attention just using the I could have just clicked that um, click in here is it this one is it this one it's not this one but it's just using um, the default GUI interface by in gaming um, yeah just the GUI interface stuff Changed a couple of names of the, some of the scripts, so makes a little bit more sense. But essentially, you're just looking for the menu button, which I've just got to aim at the moment. It just sets the time scale to either 1 or 0. If it's 0, that means that's where it stops. But one thing I have noticed that I need to touch up in the input menu uh, script. If we click on Arion, if you watch the jumping here, so if I push M, here, push M. If I hit spacebar, that was a bad example because I have it over, over the top of it. But if I hit spacebar, it still counts as the key getting selected. So as soon as you, I presume, space is triggered. 
So that's just going to be simple getting this, putting that in here as well, and just going and, whoops, don't copy the entire thing, that might be bad. If it's not equal to zero, it should fix that. I would like to assume that that would fix that. So M space, yeah, okay, clicking. Space bar. Cool. Easy fix. Um, haven't done too much with AI at all, really. Kind of just messed around with the menu there, beginning of the menu, other stuff. But that's going to do it for today, guys. And hopefully, not even hopefully, next time we will have. This, what this is pretty good. My state for my standards is pretty good. Um, some more stuff done. Not so much with modeling and stuff, but more AI or I have no idea what else. But the other thing I'm not too sure of is since I'm doing the maps as a mesh, I don't have access to the terrain. Uh, drawing and things like that so I might have to manually paint textures which I think that would be pretty intensive uh, paint them in oops, in blender so because I find it's going to be a lot easier and more precise for me to get these the way that I want them if I make them as mesh one thing I do have though so if I select this, I found a script online. Is a object to terrain. I need to just leave that as default. We use it from bottom up. And what this does, as it says, the only problem is, is I don't have any textures in here. Oh, I did, but actually I should be able to just quickly add more in. Um yes, I got rid of them. No, I didn't. Good. Just leave that. Select. Is, yeah. Makes the object itself into a mesh. Although, I think with that is, if you wanted any... Sorry. Coughing. If you wanted to have tunnels or something, you can't do that with a terrain map. But the other thing is, it does get the edges looking a bit funny. I suppose I could... They can't do those. I can grab like the smoothing tool. I could try and smooth it down a little bit. But yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm wanting to do entirely. If you guys have a, any ideas, let me know. But I think I will for the moment for the time being, I stick with the mesh. Just because oh, we need to get out of the thing for that to focus on to this. Not that that helped. Um, delete that as well. So yeah. Oh, what? Why? 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 What happened? Oh, I made things of these and then deleted them. That's what's going on there. Uh, proof apps. For some reason, those two were fine. The rest are not. But anyway. Yep. Missing proof app. Uh, yeah, again, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, bye!